we want to really instill the Canadian way. Their individual talent got him to this level and everything now is, is about the team. To play the Canadian way to me, it means just giving everything you have. Uh, you have to play a much more, uh, you know, for the team. You leave your ego at the door. And so that's definitely one of our uh, big biggest things in, in the locker room is, is playing the Canadian way. And, you know, playing with passion. I, I think uh, playing the Canadian way is, is not really playing for the name on the back. It's, it's playing for your, the logo on the front and, and uh, the country. For players to buy into the Canadian way and buy into our vision and my vision of the way I want to play is relatively easier and easier all the time because the work that the Hockey Canada does with the POE, these guys are coming through the program, guys have grown up together, they know each other since they're 16 years old. The U17 level, U18 World Championship level, U18 Ivan Lincoln, when we get them here, they're really educated on these short tournaments, how to embrace a role. It's pretty much like an all-star team, so with the mixture we have, anybody can play anywhere. And uh, it doesn't really matter if you're first or fourth line, you're still a goal scorer, still work hard, still play fast. It's really important to come together, um, you know, getting to know each other off the ice, so, so we can believe in each other and trust in each other. If we have uh, adversity, you don't really trust everyone on the ice, trust all your teammates, I think that'll be important. We're, go we're gonna get some ups and downs during the tournament and if we stay as a family, if we stay together, stay grounded and keep pushing each other, we're, we're going to have a hell of a tournament. In that tournament, I'm, go I'm going to play for, for Alex, who can't be here. It's unfortunate that we lost Alex. Uh, we, we played on the same line the whole tournament. We won gold together. We share a lot of memories together. He was going to be a big part of our team and of our success in that tournament. but. You know, Hockey Canada is about good players all around the country and, you know, other guys are going to step up for him. Thanks everybody, it's great to be here. Every Canadian hockey fan knows what happens on Boxing Day. That's when the World Juniors start. And this year, they're going to be starting in Victoria and Vancouver, and I can't wait to get going. It's very exciting for British Columbia, again, to have the opportunity to host. Uh, I want to just pay tribute to uh, Hockey Canada for their commitment uh, to ensuring that we spread this great game in every corner of, of this fantastic country. Thousands of volunteers from around BC and the world, actually, uh, have come together to fill the 800 or so spots that, that will operate this event and, and make it a huge success. And while we knew that the fan interest would be there, uh, the demand for tickets surprised even us as hosts and we were very pleasantly surprised. I'm just looking forward to the excitement in people. We've already seen it on our Road to the World Junior Tour and, and to, to see that continue through the week, to see the cities of Victoria and Vancouver host the world and to host all the hockey enthusiasts, I, I think that'll be the, the thing I take away from this event. I want to see you guys start to talk to each other and communicate so we're all on the same page, so we all know what we're doing, and we don't have any problems, okay? And we'll make adjustments as we go. So let's have a good game, it's our first game. Hey. Suzuki! Jad on left wing! Laffy on right! Team Canada prepares for the tournament with two exhibition games in Victoria, against Switzerland and Slovakia. In the first game, Canada gets out to an early lead, but the Swiss keep it close. In the dying minutes, Maxime Comtois adds an empty netter to secure the victory. Five to three. Two days later, Canada shows off its offensive skill. With balanced scoring from multiple lines, home with a 6-1 victory.
just days away from perhaps the most exciting hockey tournament in the world. Maybe the best action outside of the NHL. It's the World Junior Hockey Championship. And this year, Vancouver will see Team Canada, the red and white, for the first time since Sidney Crosby scored the famed golden goal back in 2010 at the Olympics. This year, Canada enters as defending champs, the win in Buffalo. But they only have one returning player, a new head coach, and of course, the added pressure of playing on home ice. We've seen over the years, truly, anything can happen. And so, we just got a little uh, video note from, from one of the guys that was part of that team, and to uh, remember the last time that Team Canada was in this very room. Hey guys, congratulations on being named the Team Canada in Vancouver. The last time we were in that dressing room was the 2010 gold medal. Good luck in the tournament, and we'll be cheering you on. After arriving in Vancouver, Canada plays its last exhibition game against Finland, a traditionally strong team that has won gold twice in the past five years. Here we go, last preliminary game. I guess the Finnish team that was sixth last year, ninth two years ago. That's when the coaching change was made in mid-tournament. Almost a mutiny on New Year's gold medals in 2016 and 2014. Tamu Engberg moves in short-handed. Engberg streaks right in, shoots it, rebound, score! Short-handed goal for the Fizz. Smith back with it. Cross he goes to Suzuki. Hard pass across for shoot score. Morgan Frost, power play goal. The game is tied and lost. Go, go, go. Back to Brooklyn along. Rish up, tip right on back, headed the goal post. Frost, bring the backhand shot right off the pipe. Sneaks it by Di Pietro. By Virtanen. And Virtanen scores. The shot blocked by Contois. In comes Maxime Contois. Partial break. Moves in. Shoots. And Lukanen makes the stop. By Contois. The Finns are going to get a penalty for delay a game as they end up shooting the. There's a little feet across. Glass. And Scores. I think probably just how determined we are. Um, we're a tight group. No one was down on the bench. Uh, we were all uh, obviously keeping our head up, but um, that's a good team over there. Um, it was a good uh, test for us going into the tournament, and uh, now we know where uh, our game could be. Um, so we're going to go over video the next couple days, and um, obviously we're going to be ready to go on Boxing Day. You guys talk about it amongst yourselves, and you guys talk about what went right, and what, went, what went wrong. Okay, and reflect on your own effort and whether you are ready to play with a sense of urgency or it was just another exhibition game. We don't have time to tiptoe in, okay? So you guys talk about this. We're gonna have to pick some leadership here, okay? Some leadership. We got some guys in the leadership group. But we need some guys that'll display it on the ice. Okay, so you guys start talking about this over the next couple days in here, back at the hotel, about how we're gonna play and be a lot better than tonight. How do we honor this, that, that, that red, that white, that black, the color of our jerseys, but also the color of the personalities that have, that have come along for us? Um, and so one of those people in particular is wearing a symbol of, uh, of that very thing from last year. And Max, you see it, it's, it's on your wrist. Uh, when I saw you arrive at selection camp, it was on your wrist. When I saw you this summer at the ring ceremony uh, in London, it was on your wrist. It's, I've, I've always seen it there. 
Uh, I'm just wondering if I can put it on you a little bit, just to talk about what that is, what that symbolizes. Um, for you, it just means everything that uh, I sacrificed since I was young and my family, what they sacrificed to, for me to, to play hockey and, and to have a chance to, to be there last year and, and won a gold medal, it means everything. And uh, it just reminds me every morning that the work I put to, to, get, to get there. Uh, every one of those experiences has been important to where this program is and what this program is. Probably the richest tradition in hockey that you can find. And now we find ourselves uh, with the opportunity to honor it, to enhance it, and to bring it forward. All these things that have come that have informed us, the bad moments, the bad moments that had to be learned from, that caused us to take action, the good moments that were exemplary of what it takes to have success, that's all a part of our history. You know, when we think about kids watching, people tuning in, those kids are gonna be wearing a jersey right down here sometime. They're the future. And the things that we do now in our experience, the way that we honor it, the way we approach it, what we give to it, what we pour into it, will make that jersey even more special for them. Will enhance the legacy. Will enhance the identity of what it means to be a part of Hockey Canada. So when I think about being here, I think about being here without my family at Christmas time for one reason only, to do the best work that I possibly can for a few weeks so that Hockey Canada and the jersey that you guys get to strap on when you hop onto that ice is in a better position than it is right now. I do. Remember, oh, I remember oh, that. Oh my God, kids, you're a great dad. Okay. Nothing feels good about this on my lips. <laughs> I can joke so, on talk. I saw one guy, like, he got in a little bit of a scuffle, as they call it, and he looks a lot like his coach, so if we could call Mr. Brook up, now that he's got a schnozzy schnoz, yay! <laughs> yeah, you look great. He's a handsome. <laughs> Just a couple more. <laughs> and what do you want for Christmas? Well, I guess I got need a new nose now. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I had it one a long time ago. I never gave it. Somebody. No, that's okay. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? I want to beat the Russian on New Year's Eve. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. We're going to name a captain and three assistants. It's Jared Anderson Dole. Guys are Evan Bouchard and Ian Mitchell. The last guy's Matt. I'm a threat kid. Freddie, get the boost, eh? <laughs> That's a fetch. <laughs> I've done this before, my friend. <laughs> Day tradition continues at the 2019 World Junior Hockey Championship as Canada starts their road to defending gold in Vancouver with Denmark, a team they are expected to beat handedly, but the real work perhaps begins in a day's time. So this could be a table setting for the Swiss on the 27th. In the first game of the tournament against Denmark, Canada scores early and often, leading to a lopsided victory that leaves the home crowd satisfied.
Chiefs on the 27th, who are a structured defensive team known more at times for their charismatic coach and his sound bites than some of their players. One that has given Canada problem zone recent memory. Look no further than the pre-tournament game in Victoria, where they managed to keep it close. The Swiss did, losing just five to three. Wondering, will the Swiss be ready for the onslaught that Canada will try to bring early? Here's Suzuki, swings it back. Glasgow, Tony Glass, 36 seconds in. Glasgow Glass, 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 Holds and shoots. Schmid made the save. The long rebound cleaned up by Gross. Gross got leveled there by Entwistle. That's from Nick Suzuki. The shot 7 to 4 in favor of Canada after the opening 20 minutes. There by Brook. Now Mueller back with it. Centers and Kershaw scores. Power play goal for Philip Kershaw. And the game is tied at 1. A 1-1 tie here in the second period. Got a chance to put Grishman on a chance and a save by Ian Scott who snaps it in the air. Now Bowers knocks down that clearing attempt. In comes Bowers with it. Throws it back in front. They score! Day off tomorrow, we'll play the Czechs and then the Russians on New Year's Eve. 